Hello and welcome to Unity 3D game development course. In this course you will learn how to develop 3D zombies apocalypse and zombies survival game. Just like Resident Evil, The Walking Dead or the World War Z game clone. You will learn how to make a 3D game with multiple player characters. Let's select this character. As you can see here the game starts with this character player character okay let's choose this white clothes character okay this one as you can see the game start with this character now and you can walk I mean the player character can walk and you can see the beautiful animation of walking also we have different kind of enemy characters that is different kind of zombies the weak zombies and the aggressive zombies I will show you guys now the complete uh, game overview that is this game is basically mission based game you will learn how to create game with objective the player has to complete multiple objectives in order to complete the mission so I will show you guys the complete storyline of this game which you will learn and develop in this course so let's start the game with our this female character so the game starts from here okay here you can see the here is the first old age weak zombie so the player character has no rifle so the player simply punched him and kill that zombie the player has to complete basically the following objectives for example the first objective is to find the rifle second one is to locate the villagers the villagers are basically the common human which this hero character I mean she has to save the third one is to find the vehicle and the last one is get all the villagers into the vehicle to escape from this zombie land now as you know the player passes from here here is the danger zone activated which simply means that zombies has saw the player character and all these zombies are now coming toward the player character in order to kill this player character here we have found the rifle as you can see here and now let's just go out and kill these zombies so the zombies are coming here as you can see here here also so you can see at the bottom the ammo and the rifles total number of ammo and total number of rifles and if the player character get damage from the enemy then you can see the player health bar also decreases as you can see these zombies are following me that is the player character let's kill all these as you can see when you take damage from them it decrease your health bar so now we kill all the zombies let's cross the bridge and here you can see this beautiful animations with the trees and with and this beautiful background and I hope you can hear the background sounds okay and now uh, if I show you the objectives then our first objective has been completed which was to pick up the rifle basically now the second objective is to basically locate the villagers the human beings so let's just search for the villagers in order to protect them okay so the player is now going to in search of those humans those villagers as you can see we have different kind of zombies and each zombie has their own animation and you when the player character killed any of these zombies and if you take damage from the zombie then here you can see it decrease your health they are following you here are the beast you can say the zombie beast character enemy character Now let's kill kill them all let's make a run I mean they are hurting the player character so we have to our health is also very much decreased we have to search for the ammo and for the first aid kit in order to increase the player health bar and also take some ammo in order to increase the number of ammos We, the player character is 
running out of magazine number that is the ammo is also decreasing so we have to also find the first aid kit in order to increase the player health bar and as well as the player character must find the ammo that is the magazine and here we go here we find that here you can see the magazines the you can say the ammo okay so if the player character pick that ammo then it will increase the number of magazine and the ammo and here is the first head kit so let's just pick it up so the health bar increases as you can see here now remember the second objective was to basically find the villagers so let's just quickly find the villagers danger zone has been activated which simply means that there is a danger for the player there must be some aggressive zombies so it simply means that the player must stay alert and the player is moving I mean in order to find the villagers which is the second objective and you can see the animation and this beautiful environment the map in which we will develop this beautiful game 3d game here is the beast zombie which was I mean which is the aggressive zombie so let's kill okay so you will learn how to develop all these things in this course this is the exact things I mean all these objectives the player selection 3d player character selection in a 3d game how to develop game with objectives and then how to achieve those objectives to complete the mission so here we go here we are near toward our second objective which is to locate the villagers if you stay here and here we go mission completed because here are the villagers as you can see here so we have found the villages here is also the person from the hospital who is giving some first aid kit to the ill person okay so he is helping the injured or you can say the ill person now the next objective you already know is basically to find the vehicle now and to protect all these villagers And as I told you, you will learn all these things in this course. That is how to develop a beautiful 3D game just like this. Okay, I mean the same game you will develop in this course. And at the end of this course, you will be able to make your own story based games. 3D story based games using the Unity game engine. So let's just quickly uh, find the vehicle. So here the player character found the vehicle as you can see here. So the third objective we have found the vehicle now let's sit in the vehicle in order to complete the third objective. So now third step also completed we have found the vehicle and now let's drive the vehicle I mean we have to uh, move this vehicle towards the that house where we have the villagers in order to rescue all those villagers alongside with the injured uh, human beings they are in that house so we are now going towards that house just to rescue and save all the survived human beings 
from this zombies apocalypse as you know this is the survival game from the for the human beings we just broke the gate now we have to park this car on this light and the mission completed so i hope you will love this course and you will learn all these things which you have saw in this intro we will develop this game and you will learn all these things step by step in this course so yeah see you guys in the course